Hi everyone, we will solve the recurrence relation by using another known method substitution. Here uh, for the given function recurrence relation is given as t of n equal to t of n minus 1 plus c. Here uh, this function is uh, recursively called for n minus 1 time that is the t of n minus 1 then some constant value uh, this primitive operations are considered here we can take 3 so 3 is the constant we can say uh, this will become a single constant that is the c so that's what given here so now uh, in this place context uh, they have considered uh, the constant value is 3 by considering the primitive operations this multiplication uh, this subtraction under this uh, rela uh, condition checking n equal to 0 so they have taken as yes, this primitive operations uh, 3 units of time so that's why 3 when n greater than 0 if n equal to 0 it will take the this one uh, one unit of time return 1 and uh, it is checking the condition so uh, two steps are there so 2 is uh, considered as a smallest constant 1 so that's what given here so based upon this we have to say t of n minus 1 plus 3 equal to order of n by using the substitution method so here in the place of uh, t of n so we will take the equation t of uh, n equal to t of n minus 1 plus 3 this one then in the place of n we have to substitute the pre, uh, previous term okay the previous term is so this term is nth term so next term previous term is n minus 1 in the place of n we have to substitute n minus 1 when you are substituting the n minus 1 t of n minus 1 minus 1 okay then this term okay this term plus 3 then already existing term is plus 3 so now that is what we have written here n minus 1 minus 1 right plus 3 so this is until here n t of n minus 1 then it's which is existing term this 3 right so now we got n minus 2 plus 6 then you can substitute the n minus 3 in the place of here okay so then you will get n minus 3 term is for uh, 3 you will get right so here n minus 3 uh, plus 1 right plus 3 plus 3 plus already existing term 6 so we have to substitute n minus 1 uh, that is we have to increment by this one previous term is n minus 2 next previous term is n minus 3 it will keep on go n minus n okay n minus n that's what you look at that n minus k i plus 3 i okay here the pattern we have using three times of i so when i equal to n you will get n minus n plus i equal to n means 3n so now n minus n you are getting the 0 then plus 3n okay that's what given here then you got one uh, one t t of 0 is consuming one unit of time and here this is the 3n so as per the order of growth we can uh, we can ignore the constant value and the coefficient value of the higher order then finally big o of n so this is the way to uh, apply the substitution method to find out the time complexity of given uh, recurrence relation function for the factorial function what is the time complexity which is using the factorial is using the uh, stack memory allocation uh, here uh, when you are passing the n equal to 2 then we will pass factorial of 2 here okay factorial of 2 here okay so factorial of 2 we are passing then we are uh, shaving in the uh, the result uh, result has to be calculated in future so we are passing into the stack right now n equal to 2 which is false then it is coming here factorial of 2 minus 1 which is 1 so factorial of 1 we are passing here next uh, second uh, recursive call so now factorial of 1 is saving here then again n equal to 0 which is false it is coming back here the se uh, 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 second recursive call here 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so again it is going back so n it is 0 the n equal to 0 return 1 so 1 is returning to this value right for the factorial of 0 so 1 is 
added here plus the 1 into 1. So, f of 1, this is for f of 1. So, f of 1, we got the value 1. So, now we got the value 1 for f of 1. Then, the previous call is f of 2. So, here for f of 2, 2 into f of 1. Okay. So, now we got 2 into 1. So, for f of 2, we got the value now 2. So, this is pushed out the, because we are assigning this 1 into here in this place. Okay. In this place, we are assigning the value. Then it is going back. So, factorial of 2, now we got the value equal to 2. So, step by step, which is result is passing back to the uh, uh, function, uh, original function, factorial of 2. So, now how many memory locations we have used for f of 1, one memory location, for f of 2, one memory location. Okay. So, here n equal to 2. So, the space complexity is proportional to the given input size n. So, that is here we, we can say order of n. Thanks for watching.